What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Castlevania Curse of Darkness for the PS2. The last episode I started out this Let's Play series, show like the opening cutscenes and all of that, the intro with the getting to the castle and whatnot. Talked about like how this game ties into the um, animated Castlevania series, because it started with Castlevania 3 and then now it looks like they're segueing into Curse of Darkness. At least that's how it kind of left off at. Gave away to the castle. Actually went the right way the first time. And not have to freaking like backtrack to the... I'm still going the wrong goddamn way. Okay, stop. Turn around. This way. Because I keep always having the habit of going right when I go down corridors. But this way would have led to a dead end at some like future point. Ooh, level up again. Meet up my first innocent devil. Ow. Is that it? Yes, it was. Okay. Okay, never mind. I was just right here then. Something fits in the door. We turned the dragon. I kept thinking this was like further up for some reason. Okay, so it was just right here, so I wouldn't have had to go very far. The bestiary contains information about the monsters that Hector has battled. View the bestiary by selecting his option in the status screen. A new entry will appear in the bestiary for each new monster that Hector faces. Oh, also, I didn't mention... Did I? I don't think I did. Maybe? I don't fucking know. Oh, where am I going? That way. Um, I also have a website for this game at RPG Classics. I'm gonna actually, um, like I did a shrine for this game. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in all the descriptions. In case you were like following along or you got stuck somewhere. Like pretty much everything I was able to find about the game I like placed into it. Like I know I literally just saved but like I'm a freaking chronic master saver, so... I save it every time I see a save room. Since I don't have a freaking 10 minute cutscene, or two cutscenes. Wait, what? Okay, that, that, okay, so that cuts all the way down, and then it can cut across. Let me show it's going the right way. I think I have a thing in here. So, well. Doggos.
that loop. What I was told, you can not always get a wine when you do that. I don't know if it's like a random thing or something. Well, Sean? Okay, so yeah, I'm just being derp. You have to press circle to make her activate it on auto. Aluminum, aluminum. A very light metal used by some alchemists, but mostly unknown. It makes very light armor. Well, I can't make armor anyway, so at least not yet. I got was that money bag and whatever I got for killing these things. I didn't see how much money that was. Yeah, wrong way. Whoop. So apologies about the um the graininess of the video. I am actually working with like the best option that I have for Bandicam because I'm actually using the uh, HDMI um, settings. This. Weapon combining. It is possible to create new weapons and armor by combining various materials together. Choose combine from the status window to go into the combination screen. Combining can be performed at any time. As weapons and armor increase, more combinations will be possible. When you find new materials, check the combination list to see if something new is available. It is also useful to check the bestiary to see which monsters possess certain materials.
I did pick up an aluminum a while ago. Short sword and aluminum. Go ahead and make an extra short sword. A foil. We got the same fucking attack, but it's actually a little bit faster. Eh, go back. Short sword and wild memory for a Gano. Attack plus 15. Leather helmet. Soft leather armor. What's that? Good knuckle. Let's see all the new tasty things I just picked up. Okay, Gano. A simple one handed axe comprising of a triangular head on a pole. Easy to use, but not that effective. Foil. A rapier. A rapier, I'm sorry. Used when learning fencing. Light, easy to grip, and serviceable in real combat. Okay, that's the same strength as what I have right now for the short sword, but it swings a lot faster from what I remember. And it's got like an extra hit combo. It's like that's five instead of four. Is that what I want? That. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the foil. Press the square no, the no triangle button? No. Circle button, there we go, and you can actually assort your thingies out. Like blade, sword, rapier, hatchet, which is one-handed. Axe, two-handed, spear, knuckle, and special. Leather helmet. Light and easy to wear. Cheap and easy to find. Just don't expect to protect your head that well. A plus two is plus two. Soft leather armor. Cheap and easy to find. Great armor for the beginner. Crafted with love and care. Five, that's still better than nothing. ID Evolution Crystal. When some monsters are defeated, they drop Evolution Crystals that affect the development of your ID. By collecting a certain amount of Evolution Crystals and giving them to your ID, maybe to your ID, not give them to you ID, its form will change. There are various types of Evolution Crystals. The type of Evolution Crystal that is dropped will change depending on the weapon Hector is using. Thus, the ID's evolution will be different when the given crystal is found using a sword type weapon versus an axe type weapon. Red is sword, blue is axe, green is spear, yellow is fist or knuckle, and then white is special. Managing ID evolution crystals. It is possible to prevent evolution crystals from appearing while using an ID. This will allow the ID to level up in its current form on the summon screen. Sorry, on the summon screen, select the ID and move left or right to toggle the generation of evolution crystals off on. Okay, so now I can actually start leveling up their abilities and whatnot with the stuff. And I would have to go back and look at my charts to see what does what, because I honestly don't remember.
Wizard. Let's see what that stuff is. like lots of empty hallways that's like what people were griping about for this game oh nasty You also have finishing moves for your weapon. Like you have, you know, your combo that you press from continuously pressing square. But if you do like square once and then circle, you'll do like a combo. Or like square two and then, then circle one. Square three, circle. And then square four, circle. Like, as you gain more weapons of the same class type, you'll actually unlock... Oh. Higher combos. Surprised they give you double jump right off the bat. Like all the other games, you get it. You had to freaking find it or something. Ow. Damn it. 
Fuck. Stop barfing in a circle. Timed blocks yet. Oh, aluminum, aluminum. For whatever I needed aluminum for. Or I can make a new helmet. Beautiful piece, but its total coverage of the ears make it make hearing orders a little tricky. And it's like just do defense. This one? Yes. Okay. I'm getting corn fused for a second. Stop with that nonsense. Fucking wizards. What the hell is the other one at? I'm seeing magic going off. Why am I seeing magic go off? Oh, there you are, you asshole. gonna be faster than uh, anything I have on because like the punch weapons are the fastest weapons you have a metal weapon that transcends punches easy to use but simple easy to use but simply made and that's not too strong Double step. During a quick step, 
guard left when jump. Okay, one more quick step possible to immediately follow up with another quick step. I think that just connects. I want to actually try to harp and finish out this second floor. Then I'm going to go ahead and probably call it. God damn it. I kept thinking it had more floors than this. I thought it was like five floors, but I guess not. Go ahead and call it here. Come back, make my way to the third floor. And then probably... I would like to try to finish out this area in the next episode, if I can. I think the fifth floor is actually just this... I think it's like just the boss room. So it should be just like the third floor, the fourth floor, and then like the boss before I'm actually done with the abandoned castle, then I won't have to come back until area four, five. It does a something, I don't remember exactly what it does. So when we come back, abandoned castle level three, and then probably four or five, and then the boss, finish it out, and make my way to the next area. So until then, this is Save Knight on Let's Play Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Later guys. <laughs>